spiritual show in the building, guys, okay? Looking ass. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Spiritual Generation 11. I hope y'all been taking care of yourself, loving yourself, loving others, learning new knowledge, and teaching new knowledge to the world. You feel me? Okay, y'all. In this video, I'm going to talk about drugs. Not necessarily glorifying them, but drugs relating to spirituality. Okay, I'm going to share a little story with y'all. Me, drugs had played a big role in my life. Okay, ever since I was 12 years old, I first started smoking weed. By age 15, I started dipping into pills like Xanax. By 18, I started experimenting with ecstasy and pain pills. By age 22, I had done cocaine. And by 23, I had experiments with meth. Okay? Now, along that whole journey of me doing drugs, I didn't realize that it was really fucking me up and messing me up. Okay? And like I mentioned multiple times, I had became spiritually woken by the age 18. Okay? So, by that time, I started my spiritual journey. And I will say now, some people end up starting a spiritual journey by doing certain drugs like LSD, DMT, or psilocybin, also known as magic mushrooms. Me, I never had to use drugs or drugs never really woke me up. In some cases, it does for people, you know, even marijuana, okay? But um, it really ain't what's up, y'all, okay? And the whole time where I thought that everything was going cool... It really wasn't cool. I'm talking about, bruh, I could not go a whole day without getting high. And then at age 15, I started to deal with depression symptoms, okay? And I used to isolate myself. All I used to do was go to school, come home, get a bag of weed, and just chill. And be all on social media pretending like everything's cool, but inside I was really hurting, you know? And then, huh, bro, once that spiritual awakening happened, fuck the damn drugs. That's like a natural high itself. I'm still high for spiritual awakening, you know? But if any good advice that I could give you guys, get off the drugs if you aren't on them. I mean, if you are on them. And if you're not on them, don't do it. I promise you, it's not worth it. Okay? Um. Previously, the beginning of this year, I had left the rehabilitation center. Though, I knew that I cannot be programmed, obviously. I've been spiritually woken. So, any type of program that tries to get me to do something that I myself don't want to do, it's not going to work. I'm sure a lot of you are the same. But, kind of like three or four months into this year, I ended up overdosing twice off ecstasy, okay? Bad ecstasy that they cut with all kind of shit. These drugs are not really what they say they are, okay? So, if you think you're getting something, you're probably getting something else that you don't know what you're taking, Okay? It ain't what's up, y'all. And ever since I started to spend time by myself, clear my mind, and eliminate people I used to hang around and do drugs with, I became sober. Okay? Now, if you smoke marijuana, I'm not going to shoot that shit down. You know what I'm saying? I still have respect for marijuana medicinally, you know? But overall, it still does lower your vibration. Meanwhile, you think you high. But when you high, you really low, you know? So, y'all, don't do it. Dare to do drugs. Hey, y'all remember that line? I remember in, like, fifth grade, there was this program in my school called Dare Program. We all let that motherfucker down. <laughs> Unfortunately, yo. But in today's generation, it seems like it really is cool to do drugs. You know, from the females wanting to get fucked up, from the guys wanting to get the females high or popping pills so they can come out their panties. Nowadays, females take the drugs themselves, you know? Now, look, y'all know I ain't judging. Y'all just heard all the damn drugs that I didn't did, you know. Thank God that I still have my brain and my knowledge, you know. That just goes to show you that, you know, I have a purpose here, you know. All of us have a purpose here. But drugs will shoot you down. Eventually, it's going to catch up to you. I'm sure you heard multiple stories about that. It will catch up to you. Whether it's your health, whether it's your working life, or... Being on the street like I was at one point, homeless, okay? Bro, all that trauma, all that shit that I had put myself through and I put my family members and my loved ones through 
was definitely not worth it. Now that I'm sober, every single day is a struggle somewhat, you know. But nowadays, since I've been three or four months sober, like, things kind of get a little better each and every day, though. As far as the cravings go, I really don't crave for them. You know, especially, I mean, like, all the hard drugs that I was on, pills was my drug of choice. Like, any type of pill, like, I, I take it, you know. I used to try to get off everything, too. You know, that's how deep that addiction is. Okay, and so all my indigos out there, if you don't know about indigos, we are known to have addictions, you know, because we struggle with fitting in and just, we feel it, we kind of feel like we're misplaced in this place that we live, you know. But... You know, if there's any kids watching my videos, any young people out here, put the drugs down, okay? Because you might not get lucky like I did, and you just might not make it, you know? And I know that this music that we listen to, hip-hop especially, they glorify drugs. And it seems like it's all cool. I'm a pop, I'm out of it. I'm a smoke, I'm black. Okay, it sounds cool and all that shit, but they really hurt inside too. You can look in their eyes and see that they're hurting. You know? But, as humans, we were all given the power or we know what to do to help heal ourselves. And let's be honest, we all have something that we are addicted to that eases the pain. You know? But if I would advise anything, you know, if you're going to smoke your weed... And drink your drinks or whatever. Do it responsibly. And if you're going to do the drugs, do the drugs. Don't let the drugs do you. Point and period. Because you know you can't tell nobody to do shit. Like I mentioned, the rehab did not help me get sober. I, God, and spirituality helped myself get sober. Period. You know? And, it's a, man, that's, like, that's, that's one of my strongest demons. My demons love drugs. You know, I've seen multiple pictures and videos whenever I was under the influence of all kinds of drugs. And then I look at myself now in video, it's a complete difference. I had like a dark aura over me when I was under the influence. You know, then then in my ass wondering why damn demons was around me and shit. But it's also been told that if you do drugs or if you have drugs inside your house, isn't it? Demons are attached to that. Just like demons are attached to sadness, fear. Pain, physical pain, whatever it is that lowers your vibration, they're attracted to that. And if you continue to hang out in those low vibrations or under the influence of stuff, you can be expected to be attacked or see a demon or see some type of weird shit that you don't want to see. Because like, okay, you know, there's a lot of people who have done a lot of drugs and stuff and then they be like, oh shit, I see shit. And this is excluding psychedelics and stuff. And then when you tell somebody you've seen this shit, if they know that you get high, they're like, oh man, you were just high. No, you really did see some shit, yo. But now, as far as my situation, I'm on the rise. I'm not going back. I don't know. I have came up multiple times and I had fell down a lot too. And I always said, I'm going to do it right this time. I'm going to do it right this year. But at this moment right now, I can honestly say I feel completely different. And I'm not going to doubt myself and say that I'm going to mess up or I'm in the same cycle of insanity like I've always been for years and years. Something a little different, you know. God, a spiritual ally, they didn't put a hand. These angels, they walking with me each and every single day. They walking with y'all too. And if you ever need help getting off the weed, the drugs, or whatever, come to me. We can talk about it. You help me as I help you. You know, we can stand together. We can fight these demons together too. And we will be all right. You know? So, yeah, just wanted to share my story based on drugs and spirituality and things that I've been through. You know, this is also helping me cleanse some trauma that I've been dealing with my whole life since a teenager. Call it shadow work. <laughs> All right, y'all. Stay safe. Stay focused. Stay on your knowledge. Stay raising awareness. All right? We got this. Peace. Love. Namaste.